so we have created the application but till now it's only accessible on some web location we haven't actually converted our application or we haven't got it on our phone so how to convert this project dynamic project into an application which we can distribute by transferring the apk and actually open it in our android phones so let's go back to our slides here so in just three lines of code you can convert your project into the android application this is the power of using ionic uh, framework you need not to worry about different things you just need to uh, you just need to have the android studio installed in your machine so to actually process and make the apk for you so uh, to generate this uh, ionic or to convert this ionic project into an application let's go back to our terminal first clear it so first thing which you need to uh, say is ionic then build and when you hit enter it may take a bit of time because it's building all the necessary things which are required to actually convert it into any kind of application it can be ionic it can be android or the ios or the windows application so uh, it's just building all of these things right now so once it done let's try to see what are the changes it made uh, let's close all of these files and here you can uh, there is one new folder which is www this is sort of all the code is converted into javascript code so this is the one which will be used further which will make our application but uh, let's go back to our terminal and the next command is ionic capacity built android this is trying to say that we are making a, an android application so let's clear this and say ionic capacitor build android so if you face some error which says unable to launch android studio you must configure the android studio path or this may happen because the ionic sees the android application to be of somewhere else and uh, you might have installed it in some different location so i have done it purposely so that you can understand how we can actually uh, open the android studio and build this project so if i go back to our project here you can see this one new folder which is android and inside this we have a lot of files so this is the folder which we need to open in android studio and there we'll be able to run the build command to generate the apk so let's uh, i will uh, open an android studio and we'll open this folder there and then we'll see how we can generate an apk So I have opened the Android Studio in the same location where this Android folder is. It takes a bit of time to actually compile all of the files and then we'll be able to see uh, what our project is and then we'll be able to actually build the APK. So just hold on for a few minutes and then it will be ready. So it might take few minutes depending on your uh, machine speed. So once it done, you can see there's no process going on. And then if you click on this build and this, uh, uh, if you go to build bundle slash APK and there's one option called build APKs. When you click enter here, it starts creating the application for you. So it may take a bit of time again to actually execute and make that application. And 
as you can see it says build apk uh, generation successfully from one module and there's a one option which helps in locating your application i'll click on this locate and it opens up the place where i have this application which is of extension dot apk so this is the application which you want and install it in your uh, mobile phone and then you'll be able to run the same application which we were opening in our browser here and you'll be able to use the same application on your phone so this is how you make uh, you convert the ionic project into your application the mobile application 